literally as I've just come to film the sun has decided to come out and it's now shining in my face so I don't know if this lighting is going to be awful but hello welcome to my channel I thought I'd do a little Q&A get ready with me today so I'm just going to be doing a full face makeup while answering some questions that I asked you guys to ask me over on Instagram and just having a chat in general I know that I've uploaded a few YouTube videos now but I haven't apart from that done YouTube in like over a year so I thought we'd have a little catch up I'm going to answer some questions and I'm going to do a full face makeup I've already got lashes on so these are the Claudia Killsby lashes. These are the hybrid ones. I love them. These are them. These are literally the lashes that I use all the time because I just think they are incredible. Look, the sun is literally great. Great. Right, the lighting should be a little bit better here. So let's start. I'm going to be using some primers to start off with. I've got the Avocado Polis Primer from the Beauty Crop. This stuff is incredible because my skin is so, so dry. I'm going to pop some of this on. I'm just going to head over to Instagram actually to quickly see what questions have been asked. A few people have asked how old I am and where do I live. So I'm currently 20. I only said 18. I'm definitely 20. These past few years have gone so, so, so fast. Like, I think ever since like COVID and the pandemic, like everything just seemed to have, everything seems to have gone so, so fast. Also, I'm using the Elemis, Elms, El I don't know how you say it, Superfood Glowing Priming Moisturizer. I've never used this before, so hopefully it's good. Do you want to say hello to the vlog? Yo, what's up? Like, comment, subscribe. Welcome back to the channel. I'm doing a get ready with me and get to know me. Oh. Have you got any questions for me? Um... No. This is my boyfriend, George. What's good? George is 19. He's I'm from 19. Norwich. I'm 19. I'm an absolute stud. <laughs> we've been together. How long have we been together for? A year and... Fucking hell, feels like about 10 years. We've been together a year and two months tomorrow. We're gonna go on a date tomorrow, aren't we? Are we? You said we're gonna go on a date. <laughs> yeah, we are. Fun facts about George. He's a really good cook. He loves cars. George. You come in, you ruin my setup. Oh, you did have, you should have it, the ring light on the tripod. No, it doesn't. What are some more fun facts about you? You like to waste money. Uh, I'm a big money spender. I like going to the gym. When was the last time you went to the gym? Yesterday. Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. What do you think it is? A primer, concealer, or a foundation? Uh, fake tan. No, it's a primer. Um, what's this called? A blob. Anyway, me and George currently, we've lived in Manchester together. So we lived in Manchester from December 2021 till August 2022. <sighs> we lived in Manchester in a little two bed apartment. So we moved to central London and we had a two bed apartment there. And then we moved out in January and we moved back to George's parents' house for a bit just because we're thinking about moving Before to- Before we go to Dubai, baby. Yeah. We're gonna move to Let's Dubai and get go. residency in Dubai. So we were gonna rent another apartment because basically we had to move. We were only in our apartment for like five months because it was for sale, but we knew that when we moved in that we'd probably not be able to be there for that long because it was for sale. So what is this, like yeah, a neck we're massager? living in George's family house. Is this like a neck massage? No, when you have a period, you like heat it up and it like helps your ovaries. It feels nice on my neck. So yeah, that is currently where we're living. I'm originally from Manchester and George is originally from Norwich. Anyway, you can't be exposing me like that. Everyone knows you're from Norwich. No, I was b I was born in Italy. Wait a damn minute. What's your job? Uh, I'm a chef in an Italian restaurant. Ah, oh, fucking bastard. Oh, George, don't swear like that. Ah, oh, my toes. Anyway, that was George. Um, so yeah, that is currently where we're living. That's how old we are. Um, yeah, fun times. So for a job at the minute, I currently do social media and I also run two businesses. So social media, I do Instagram and TikTok and then I've more recently started doing YouTube. And then for my businesses, I own a crystal business called Loves Crystal Vibes, which you can see behind me. All of the crystals. And then I also own, well, me, my sister and my dad have a company called All Ray Jewelry and that is basically charm bracelets, necklaces. Have I got a necklace on? No, I'm not repping very well, am I? I'll just grab one to show you. So necklaces, like little charm bracelets like this. This is what they look like. That is currently what I'm doing and I'm also looking to start a eyelash business as well because I'm obsessed with lashes, especially like the individual ones and I'd love to have my own lash business. So that is currently what I'm looking into doing. But that's what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I work from home, do a bit of Instagram, do a bit of YouTube, and run my businesses. Fun fact, I actually ship out all of the orders on the crystal business. So my brother ships out the jewellery ones, I ship out the crystal ones. Um, it's only been the past like two weeks, I'd say, where my mum and brother have been helping me 
fill a lot of orders because I literally just can't keep up with it anymore, which is incredible. So I'm really grateful to have such a like well growing business but it does get really hard to keep up with all of the orders so they have been helping me out a lot recently and fulfilling a lot of the orders for me so it gives me a lot more free time to do things like youtube and get ready with me's and just content in general somebody's just asked me what tan do you use i actually don't fake tan fun fact i am um, sunbed which i'm not saying use sunbeds because sunbeds are actually really bad for you so do not sunbed but i don't know i just i don't really like fake tan i don't like when it goes like patchy and weird the only one that i will use sometimes is i've got tropic tan drops have i got any over here oh, i don't even have any at the minute but i use the tropic tanning drops sometimes on my face or sometimes i will use the burr by vogue tan as well um i've used like saint tropez in the past i've used bondi sand i'm not saying i'm against fake tans i do really like fake tan but i'm lazy and i don't have time to sit there every night and fake tan but i do sunbed um and i just use lotion i use the australian gold lotion to be honest i usually only sunbed for like 10 minutes a week i don't really go that regularly unless if i want a proper tan then i'll probably do like 20 30 minutes a week but at the minute i literally just do like 10 minutes a week for my foundation, I use the Be Perfect Chroma Cover. Mine is, is literally nearly empty. I've only got it filled up to there. And I also use the Be Perfect Chroma Cover Concealer. This is in the shade N3 and this is in the shade W5. So that's what I use for foundation and concealer. For bronzer, I'm going to use the Caramel Chisel Liquid Blush made by Mitchell. It's just so good. Again, this brand literally blew up because of like TikTok and TikTok shop. And a lot of people always ask me like, oh, how can I start my own business? Like, how do you even like begin to start one? You don't need a lot of money to start a business. You can literally have like £100. I started my business with £100. Just grow it from there. But TikTok shop is a really good new feature to start your own business, grow your own business. You don't even need to have a physical business. You could have like a online business for example i pay someone to edit my youtube video so that's their business they're an editor so if you're skilled like that then you can do that but i'm not skilled enough to edit videos which is why i don't edit my own youtube videos because i just don't have a clue and i always end up breaking my mac somehow every time i try and edit a video you could always start social media which i know is easier said than done but you could be like a ugc creator so ugc creators tend to have small followings but it's all about like the aesthetic content they create and they create content for different brands if you're skilled in one area you could do certain things like if you're skilled in artwork for example you could go onto Fiverr and offer a service so offering a service is a really good way to start a business because you don't need anything like physical you don't have to like invest money into it obviously things like a physical business like crystals or jewelry you do need to invest money into it because it's a physical product it's good if you can offer a service and you are skilled in something to start with that because then you don't have to you know put a load of money into something um, in case it doesn't work out so so that's just my little tip and um, made by Mitchell is very successful in TikTok shop and has shown like you can literally grow huge like huge 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 businesses on TikTok shop so definitely take a look into TikTok shop if you're wanting to start like a oh my god my skin's flaking right I really don't recommend that primer that we used guys the LMS one because my skin is flaking I don't know whether it's because of the moisturizer I've used and it's like clashing with it or if it's the actual primer but my skin is flaking so much right now I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer and just put that onto my skin I had a question asking if I would ever go to uni so I went to high school did my GCSEs obviously I used to vlog it all on YouTube and then I went to college for a year and in the September I went into my second year I actually dropped out I just had a gut feeling that it wasn't for me anymore i don't know i just i just had a feeling that it just was the right thing to do by leaving i don't know if things would have been different if it hadn't have been covid but i think covid did have like a huge 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 impact on it so i went to musical theatre college so it was really hard to sing act and dance with a mask on during covid that definitely played a huge 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 role in me dropping out but i did drop out i did youtube and i worked in a coffee shop for a while um and then i went to maga on holiday with my friend and that's kind of how i started my whole tiktok journey i didn't go to uni but i did actually apply to do a gap year in musical theater so the place that i went for college i reapplied to do a gap year and do a one-year musical theater course and i was supposed to start that in september of 21 but i ended up staying in spain because i met someone in spain we were traveling together for a bit and that's when i started tiktok but yeah i ended up not going and then started tiktok and then i ended up doing tiktok full time i'm really glad that i didn't go because if i had gone to do the gap course i wouldn't have met george 
George and I met George in like the November time. Then I moved to Manchester in the December time. So I'm really glad that I decided not to go. I did worry that I was going to regret it. But again, I just like followed my gut and everything's kind of worked out for the best. So I didn't go to uni and college. I'm not saying there's anything wrong. Well, I did go to college for a year. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with going to college and, um, college and uni. I'm not saying there's anything wrong not going to college and uni. But for me, like that was just my path. And everyone's path is completely, completely different. I know a lot of people go into like apprenticeship. A lot of people will go to college and then not go to uni. There's so many different paths you can go down. You just got to do what's right for you. For powder, I'm going to use this NARS one under my eyes. And then I'm going to use the Rimmel Stay Matte one on the rest of my face. And I've just got a real techniques. In terms of future plans, because a lot of people always ask me what I'm planning to do. In the future, this year we're going to hopefully try and get our residency in Dubai. And move to Dubai for a bit. So you don't actually have to like live in Dubai for a whole year. You could do like six months in Dubai, six months in the UK, etc, etc. So I am still going to be in the UK because I do love being in the UK. But since we don't have an apartment here and like no commitments in the UK at the minute, we just thought we'd go live in another country for a while. So that's kind of what I'm planning to do at the minute. I also want to, like I said, I think I said in this video, I want to start a lash business. So I love lashes. I love coffee. I've always said I love kind of one of those businesses i love crystals so i've got a crystal business i'm gonna start a lash business then in the future maybe we'll do a coffee business yeah i'm definitely gonna be moving to dubai this year and hopefully starting a lash business that's a future plan i of course want to carry on growing my crystal business and find a way for it to function with me not being here and me being in dubai which is why i've got my mum doing a lot of the fulfillment at the minute and my brother yeah so hopefully i can still carry on my crystal business because i never would want to stop it because i really do enjoy doing it in terms of youtube i want to get to the point where i am posting twice a week i think it's just harder at the minute because when i'm in the uk like i don't really have anything going on with my life right now apart from work so i just feel like it isn't really that interesting i've got a few holes that i want to do soon i've got a shein haul i want to do and i know poly haul i want to do i also obviously want to vlog dubai and then after dubai we'll probably be going somewhere else i think we want to try and go to bali this year thailand this year i'd love to go to australia but i'm not sure what the best time of year to go to australia is i'm not sure if we've missed it or not yet that's kind of my plans with youtube if there are any videos you guys want to see then let me know just leave a comment on this video or give me a message on instagram and let me know as well i'm just using the nars laguna bronzer and blush little set this way it looks like someone just asked what have you done while not filming youtube videos so i think i've pretty much explained that whole question in this video i started tiktok i obviously dropped out of college i spent a summer in spain i moved to manchester then to london now back to norwich but yeah i've just been doing kind of like other forms of social media like tiktok and instagram so i've still been really busy i started my own business as well but yeah it's not like i ever wanted to stop doing youtube i just never found the time to edit my videos like even now if i had to edit my own videos i just probably wouldn't be able to do youtube because it just takes me so long to edit and i'm just constantly so 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 busy that is why i do now have someone to edit my videos and Alicia is amazing so thank you so much to her for editing them but yeah I just kind of stopped because I just couldn't do the editing but then I couldn't afford to pay an editor to edit them but now I'm lucky enough to be in a position where I can pay an editor to edit my videos I've just done my makeup I've not done my lips yet because I just I hate having stuff on my lips like unless I'm doing something unless I'm going out so I'm just not gonna put anything on my lips for now I don't know if I need to redo my hair it's kind of come out a bit I think I'm gonna have to redo the front of it looks like I've been dragged through a nest right now but thank you so much for watching the video i just wanted to yeah do a little updated q a let me know what kind of videos you want to see and like comment and subscribe so you don't miss any videos and i'll see you next time for a brand new video goodbye